Hey guys, so um, today's video is gonna be on, is gonna be a movie review, and the movie I am going to be reviewing is um, this Polish movie that I've seen like a couple times, and um, it's called um, Suicide Room, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it in um, I'm not exactly sure how to say say it really in um, in Polish because I don't speak Polish and I'm not really that great at, and I probably won't even do so great but um, anyway like alright so first what I'm gonna do is rate the movie <clears throat> um, pretty much I give it a Four point nine of five stars because well I don't know I guess I would give it a five of five a star five of five stars because um I mean like but like um. Okay, so like, what the movie Suicide Room is about is pretty much about this kid named Dominic, <clears throat> um, who, at the beginning of the movie, starts out as this ordinary kid who has a good life, has tons of friends, um, is dating one of the probably the hottest girl like, in the sco his school, I guess. Um, he has rich parents and money to spend that he can spend on brand name clothes. But the only, but what changes like how he feels about life really, I guess, <clears throat> um, starts with this innocent kiss with a guy friend of his. And it changes everything because for him because um because after a while he starts isolating himself. Um I'm still kinda confused why about that on that. Um but like he pretty much isolates himself from the outside world, spending pretty much his entire time on the computer. But like the thing is, like, okay, he ends up isolating himself for literally an entire week and a half, uh, <clears throat> spending his time on his computer, um, playing this game that I still don't remember what it's called, that I still have not seen what the title of the game is. <clears throat> Probably like what the well I don't know, but he joins this um, group um, called the Suicide Room, which I guess is when they decided on naming the movie Suicide Room in English, or pretty much Suicide Room in Polish, um, where it's a pretty much a place of no escape. And he meets this, um, this unanimous girl who, um, eventually he falls in love with towards the end of the movie. <clears throat> but kind of, like, kind of near the end of the movie. Um, and pretty much he ends up... But, like, the thing is, is that, um, when this therapist comes by, um, the, this girl that he meets online, um, asks him to ask the therapist to at least let him have pills so that he can, like, any depressants, I think, um, so that they can meet, so that he can give her the pills. 
so that she can kill herself. Which honestly makes no sense to me because it's like, if you care about someone, don't let them, like, and they ask you to give them pills to try killing themselves, don't give it to them. Um, but then, um, kind of more at, at the end of the movie, um, he, um, his mom pretty much pretends to be him just so that he can tell this, that, so that she can tell this girl that he kind of starts to fall in love with that Dominic is dead. Um, even though he's not dead, which makes no sense to me, which still makes no sense to me to this day. Um, but then Sylvia, or however it's pronounced in Poland, um, the girl that he meets online, um, is all upset and all that. So, but yeah, I, in, what I recommend this movie, if you love intense movies, and, um, if you love movies that hit you hard in the heart, or, well, in the chest, um, I probably would, I would probably recommend it for people who love watching movies that are pretty intense. And the thing is, it's kind of depressing, but it's pretty good. It's really intense, so I recommend this for anyone who loves intense movies. But, if you love intense movies, but you are sensitive to seeing people cutting themselves, people talking about suicide, stuff, stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend it for people who are like that. I recommend this movie for people who love intense movies and aren't sensitive to that kind of thing exactly. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you choose to watch it. 